globally, one third of the food produced are actually wasted, which is really striking. The food and drink industry, like any other processing technology and the industry sectors, also generate a large quantity of waste, including solid but also liquid waste water. Such streams has been regarded as waste traditionally. However, they represent a great potential for resource recovery, in particular the nutrient and also the carbon resources contained in such waste streams. So Miao is using high-performance computing to optimize processes by which we can make food out of waste. Now we don't anticipate that people will actually eat waste, but we are using various organisms, so primitive organisms, that will eat the waste or utilize the nutrients that are residing or remnants in the waste and then incorporating that into themselves and then we can utilize the uh, biomass that they create and not only the protein but also other nutritional components and we can make that into food and by doing that we can minimize the amount of, of protein and other nutrients that are just going to waste and just sitting in landfills and also when they sit in landfills they create greenhouse gases when they are putrefying and creating uh, CO2 that leaks out in the, in the, into the atmosphere. So instead of doing that, we can utilize these organisms to make them into food. And not only will we then prevent greenhouse gases, but obviously more importantly, or equally importantly, I should say, uh, feed the world, which is one of the mantras that kings have to, to answer the questions that the world are asking. At King's College London, we push the boundaries of engineering and sciences we develop very exciting cross-disciplinary research, including computational but also experimental work. Our work aims to understand, develop, and optimize our waste-to-resource technologies, such as the waste-to-protein. We explore the scalable technologies by coupling separation and bioprocess to efficiently recover organic waste resources. In the lab, our computational work builds on our computational simulation, mathematical optimization, and machine learning to discover and optimize our future sustainable food solutions. When, when I look back at sort of 30 years of, of working in this whole space, you know, just starting with an idea as to where we are now, which is producing microprotein at scale and at, at, by fermentation and in 17 countries worldwide. And I look forward to the next 30 years and think, well, you know, what would be the next, the big transformational uh, step, all, all rooted in, in great and amazing food, obviously. And I think this is this is it for me. This is this is like the big idea for the future is being able to take lignocellulose, agricultural waste, create fermentable substrate from it and, and grow protein by fermentation from that. That would be just such a transformational idea. And it's one that we are eternally grateful to the skill and the expertise of Kings who are helping us to ask those questions, to, to follow the, the lines of inquiry that are most important to, to addressing uh, this as a, as a question for the future. Uh, I'm just really excited to see what else we can do together.